We are here with Victor Bayonas, one of our Hello. very good artists. Hello, Victor. Hello, everyone. Hello, Carlo. Hello, Victor. Hello, Nushin. Hello. And hello, hello. everyone. Uh, Victor, thank you so much for accepting our invitation, having us in your studio virtually. Th um, thanks to you for your attention to my works and, and for this interview. Yes, we are really very happy because um, actually you are one of our favorite artists here. Oh, and your artworks you. are amazing. And uh, so that's why we uh, organized this interview to know you better to get to, uh, to see your works closely and to come to your atmosphere, to your studio and see how you go through this uh, process. So first of all, if you can um, a bit introduce yourself uh, a bit, because I, when I saw your article, I understood that you have been close, you have grown up close to sea, beach, but instead of uh, being inspired by sea, you have been inspired by bodies. And it's a very interesting thing to to begin. So yeah, that's on. true. That's truth. I I started my relationship with art started when I was about six or seven years old. I really loved uh, drawing, and my drawings were like my style hasn't changed during the years. My my drawings were too dark. My family was horrified. They wanted me to to go to a psychologist because. Uh, Which you should. I should. <laughs> I did already, so I don't see any problem in going to a psychologist. <laughs> any artist, any respectful artist should yeah. have a shrink. All of us. <laughs> That's true. But they, they think I was, I was like those kids who appear in horror films. That they draw ghosts <laughs> and skeleton, and they say, this, this kid is not, he says it, it's not good. But well, I always like drawing. When I was 13, 14, 15 years old, I started doing some graffiti, but not good graffiti. It was like sketches, uh, funny images. They were not very good, but at least I, I had some fun, fun and I had a problem and I needed, I needed everyone to, to put the attention on me. And, and it was, I used to paint graffiti everywhere until the day the police took me. I ran, but they were faster. And I, decided, I said, no, I should stop this and start a new project, a new serious project with art, with painting. And that's why I went to Madrid and living here and I'm dedicating myself to, to, to paint. Very nice, very interesting story. <laughs> <laughs> so you are, uh... Uh, you have a, a development, something that brought you uh, uh, to be uh, from, from being a street artist to a more uh, accomplished uh, uh, surrealist, I would say, if, uh, if you pass me the word, because I see so much of uh, uh, surrealistic uh, Spanish tradition uh, in you. Mm. And uh, you haven't lost your. Um, Taste for bodies, uh, uh, as you can, as we can see from the, the artwork behind you, and you haven't lost uh, your taste for anatomy, which is a very, a very typical thing. Think how many artists do the same. So there's nothing creepy in that. It's this, hmm. uh, and for example, the other works that are um, uh, based on. Uh, depiction and uh, paintings of uh, statues so it's like marbles uh, it's, bodies yeah. uh, there's nothing it, it's so surrealistic why because uh, you are representing bodies as uh, they were objects uh, if you think uh, uh, the Kiriko did the same the Kiriko painted mannequins uh, yes okay they were they, they were static elements of a whole um, surrounding scenery. I, so this I really is love, so, no? Yes, I really love sur surrealism. I think, as I said in the magazine interview, uh, my first inspiration was uh, Dali. I went to Caracas, to his museum, to his house, and I was, there were many paintings I said, I don't really like this. 
but I find most of them, for example, the Madonna of Portugal is a great painting, four meters tall, and I was impressed. And it's like very, Dali was very Italian. And I think I visited the Prado Museum and I love the Spanish classic art, but I think I'm, I'm, my kind of painting is more Italian than Spanish. You mean yes. which one? Move your head a little bit. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. Stay, uh, yeah, so that we can see you. Um, uh, uh, you mean which uh, uh, specific reference to Italians? I think the Italian, Italian Renaissance, Raphael, Leonardo, Miguel Angel. I stayed this summer in the, in the Uffizi Gallery and it's great. I, I, I fell in love oh, with the, the taste for anatomy that the Italians mm. uh, uh, created is something that goes beyond uh, imagination. There is no one uh, uh, better. The, yeah, you need to go, even if I personally, I love the, the Spanish side as well. Yeah, me too. But, uh, <laughs> but yes, I understand what you mean. So, um, and it's clear in your the influence in your work. Yes. Yes, exactly. Actually, your bodies are perfect. The anatomy uh, um, of the women are perfect, really. It shows that you completely know uh, the body of a woman, the, how, it, how it is. And it's really he beautiful. He studied. Yes. And it's mm -hmm. very beautiful the way they are like marble and stone. And um, I'm very amazed with your painting, which calls um, corporeality. Reality, yes. Yeah, they are very amazing. If you want later, well, I put this painting behind walk me. Walk us you want, uh, uh, through yes. this one, Victor. Walk yes. us, uh, show this us a little a, bit a detail of this one. With, uh, well, because I see a lot of uh, interesting things. And I see not so many shadows. Uh, means mm -hmm. that you are giving... Uh, that these bodies are not alive. Yes, they I try like, something more colored. It's, it was based on, on a Nirvana album, the last Nirvana album. I think it's quite inspiring for me because it, it had a special style, like very beautiful with flowers, but if you look at it and uh, calm, you could find babies, uh, anatomy figures, bones. And it's like I try to, I compare this painting like a bad perfume, a perfume that smells like alcohol, like the worst, per the worst perfume on, on the shop. Like a good smell, but very strong. That's why I tried so many color flowers, but uh, elements that don't act like they should. The babies. Tell me, tell me about the babies. And this is an oil, isn't it? Yes, I think. oil on canvas. Mm -hmm. Yes, very very good way of treating uh, working with the oil. Do you use a specific varnishes? Do you varnish? Do you use? Uh... Yeah, I used to. I used to put about one year or two from the painting. From the painting is over. Uh, <clears throat> it was from Holland. Varnish from Holland, and it gave, gives. Uh, uh, like a yellow, the painting is more is more yellow than before, and I, I think this is a cool. Yes, I know what you mean because I we yes, I have I, I, to... I paint oil <laughs> and we have these amazing varnishes here. Actually, you know, if you need them, I can send them to you. You don't need to wait one year to get. Them. Mm. I have plenty here. Uh, a black and white painting. But there is something that distract all the structure and it's uh, a red baby inside a, I don't know, a drip, uh, an hospital yes. bottle. This is my last work. Oh, wow. I, tr I tried to put it on Instagram, but it was uh, censored or because of sexual content. Really? Uh, really? Yeah, those, really? I cannot believe it. But it I mean, doesn't have any sexual Instagram content. Instagram uh, publishes... Oh, maybe these. 
I don't know. Oh, girl, but... <laughs> continuous is sexy, and now you were not, and the art is not that. Uh, this is so much, so, so yeah. disgraceful. But I don't understand. Can you please uh, put it, uh, can you uh, put it uh, straight a bit? Can you, if you can put hold it straight, it. so we can see it better. Yes. Hold it. Very can you hold my it head is very straight. big for this. Uh, okay. That's, uh, that's it. Can that's it. like this. Wow. That's why well, I, I, I say... Tell us what you, tell us what you had on your mind when you did this. Yeah. Uh, this is based on a um, um, music album of a man called Nurses with Wound. It's exper experimental music, like sounds, and this is one of the main images of the, of the album. I, I have to tell that my paintings are always based on music. Uh, That's fa fantastic, we fantastic. love that, so peculiar. Yeah. Yes, I, I, was, I studied violin in the conservatory in the music, music school until the 18th. But I decided to dedicate myself to, to art because for music, you have to be very, uh, this, this, how do you say? You have to work too much, like four or five. You have six. to have discipline. Yes. Uh, for painting too, but you can control yourself more. You can do, you have more options. If you are a classical music, that's very hard. <laughs> and exactly. I, I, spent, I spent 10 years in the music school and I was like, I can more. This is too yes. hard. Music needs uh, lots of patience. Mm. Exactly. So that's uh, it shows that actually music inspires you a lot. Yes, I'm always. I have to be listening to music mm -hmm. uh, all the time. For me, it's no. But this is important. a great thing. For example, when I paint, uh, a lot of times I got inspired by books I read. Uh, mm by music and yeah it's such a lovely uh, uh, conjunction to make to, to make music and, uh, and uh, paint that's great have you ever thought mm. of doing sculpture uh, Victor because you are so physical so materic no yes but <clears throat> I, 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 I have always said that sculpture is thing for, for slaves I'm too lazy this is too much work I tried once to uh, stone but I, I don't have enough muscles to, to control the stone, so I prefer to, to stay in, in painting. But well, maybe sometimes I could try something, maybe in the future. Of course. <laughs> and uh, 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 walk us through, uh, there, there's a strong conception of sexuality in your work, sensuality of these bodies. Uh, tell us your, uh, your uh, point of view. Uh, <clears throat> I really don't know because I'm not a very sexual person. <laughs> I think it's the opposite. I mm. really don't like uh, that world. There are people who really love uh, human contact, but then that's not my case. And ironically, that's what I try in my paintings. I think that's like uh, something that I don't have and I pass it to the to the canvas mm. yeah i think you uh, have been amazed by bodies the nature of the body and it's uh it's bodies that is important for you not uh, not sexuality actually yeah i i would say it's the body mm. i wouldn't tell my paintings like something sexual or erotic all the opposite for me it's yeah. interesting the body because you can find in 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 those bodies color shapes you didn't know before i when i first tried uh, painting i didn't know the blue was so important the color blue in the in the scheme and when you try to explore to try new things you say this is more more interesting than than i thought what kind of blue do you use uh, the I use um, like a dark, very dark blue, but I, but I, how do you say, mezclar? I, you, 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 you put it together. You, yeah, you mix it. Yeah, I mix with white, of course. And but mm, what is it? An ultramarine blue? 
is it uh, cyan blue what what kind of blue the prussian I blue i have to say something my i'm not a very technique over my paintings are so technique so true i like in um uh, to try myself improvise improvise i don't have a concrete um uh, gamma of, of colors or uh um uh, a concrete technique i always when i start a painting i don't know how it, it's gonna end mm. i don't have a sketch before i don't do nothing and you go through it through canvas yes i i don't know i i don't draw behind the the painting really because uh, to be honest uh, uh, i mean i i like your art and, uh, and it doesn't look like it looks like yes. you have a precise scheme uh, you know i mean you are uh, uh, i thought i thought yeah okay you you would sketch with, uh, with pencil then create the areas and the chiaroscuro but instead, you just uh, uh, go on the flow. You mean you you, you just add the elements on elements with oil. That's yes. complicated to do. Eh? My my, I really like using makeup brushes because I put a very big um, I don't know who to say splats of, of paint like very and with a brush. I start doing like this and the colors and uh, sorry, this is technical uh, vocabulary that I don't have in, in English, but you create an, an atmosphere with that brush. For me, make a brush are perfect. That's fantastic. That's great. Very nice. Show us something else. Show us another artwork. You have something else there? As well? This one, I tried something more abstract because I decided to create carnosity i don't know if it's like volumes of meat of skins but not a concrete fig uh, body figure only uh, like things that have no relate are not related to to the body but they look like meat and we decided to uh, put some gold over there to create a um, like a more abstract atmosphere through yeah the, it's uh, abstract of flesh yes that's a good way to to see it and why did you put this uh, echo isolate this uh, subject uh, in a in a in a, uh, in a frame way. and yes, then there is uh, the around it. this huh? yeah I, I use that to to create like a separation between the complete black it's, I, I think my, my paintings are so based in contrast. For example, yeah. black with gold, uh, gold, uh, I don't know how to say it, gold images, and by the other hand, lots of skin. There's nothing, and there are a lot of things. And the white frame is like to separate both, both parts. Reality, uh, reality, reality and, from. Uh, uh empty uh, yeah it's like know, an from, uh, from, uh, i understand mm. yeah that's Aurora very Baki, um, that's very caravaggio you know caravaggio yeah. was doing black yes. around yeah. bodies no uh, exactly anyway. yeah so much so that's very interesting very okay. very the silence of the black which has also sound it is uh it's amazing yeah this is yeah. one of my favorite I think my my corporeality uh, project started when when we were we were on the lockdown. That's when you have so much time. I I, I decided to do something different. You start thinking. You start all the day with that with a canvas, and I. That's why I started with perfect bodies and perfectly painted, perfect anatomy. And during the months and the, and the days and and the hours, I was thinking how to destroy all this meat, how to mix it, and how to create something something it's different. Interesting something. because you look at your composition, the eyes automatically try to recognize a body, so you get familiar with it. 
you see, uh, which is very common in a lot of, you think of a lot of abstract artists. The first thing someone does uh, when you look abstract is try to find something uh, familiar, something uh, that could be, uh, you know, made, make, that made se makes sense uh, from a figurative point of view. Uh, instead, the effect you give here is uh, it's like a whole uh, mass of uh, flesh bodies, but there's no no real uh, figurative. There is, it's it's just an abstract um, uh, masses uh, of uh, flesh oh. together. Mm. Yeah, there's a point. I would like to arrive to a. Uh, uh, Abstract realism, like there is no really nothing uh, compared to reality, but you can find something related. Sorry, I'm having problems with this. Okay. No, I mean, it's very clear what you're trying to do. And actually, even in other paintings you did. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, it's uh, you, you want to uh, uh, you want to have uh, if you think of it uh, even uh, uh, if you think of for example Max Ernest, okay, uh, uh, great, uh, sur possibly he is the uh, together with Jean Arp uh, um, and a uh, few others, uh, he was the founder of surrealism. He started, he said, I start painting, I start, I see where I, he, all, he would almost pour painting on a canvas and see where it was going and then create figures, bodies, animals out of where. So that's not so different from what you do. Uh, yes, and that's the pure surrealist because he would bring, he would create figures that would make sense uh, um, my, microscopically, but uh, mm. micros, ma macroscopically, looking at it in the general, it, it, it doesn't make sense. Uh, mm, so, uh, okay, if, I don't know if, you, if you're familiar with Max Ernest, but this is what he was doing. So it's, it's, uh, so it's absolutely understandable. It's so surreal, surreal what you, surrealistic what you're doing. In fact, he has a technique that is called, I think it's fruitage or something like this. Yes. And you, you put a lot of, paint, uh, of painting mixed with oil, you put a plastic or, uh, or something and it creates like a shape texture, like rock. So, and it's uh, really, so you, you can find images there. It's like watching yeah. the, his theory was watching the, the clouds or watching a mountain, you can find images. And that's something I, re I, re I find really interesting. Absolutely, absolutely. This is the reason why then in Max Ernest, you, got, you find uh, uh, strange figures dancing on the beach or strange, uh, strange objects flying because he creates uh, from, uh, from, the, from the movement of the paint. Uh, and then mm. obviously you can observe that the, the more it went on, the more uh, then you get uh, abstract expressions like Pollock, uh, Rochko, which instead would uh, uh, make sure that their composition was all movement. In fact, they were called action painters. So it's, if you think, uh, it's a little bit of an evolution, isn't it? Uh, from mm. Max Ernest, or it's certainly different, but uh, it takes, uh, um, uh, gives your, your, your hand, your rhythm, the possibility to be free. And this is what you do as well. Yes, I Makes think mm, that's true. I would like now my, my next uh, um, uh, ambition is to evolve a little bit from that pure surrealism to re surrealism and um, find something for example, this, this painting for me is something different. It's not completely surrealist because it has different material, materialist uh, elements. And I think it's something more adapted to the modern era and the, the modern days. Uh, that's what I will try in the next paintings. 
I have many projects in mind. As I told you, I don't have sketches or nothing like this, but I know more or less what to to explore and to my intention. But that's a great thing because normally at the end of uh, the interview, I always ask my artist, uh, what uh, have you, do you have on your mind uh -huh. that you haven't done yet? So you already yes. answered me. Yes. Great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you're young. How old are you? 21. 21. I don't like to say the age because I don't believe in the age. I think it's a number. No, no. I, I believe I in the age because I'm, I'm going to be 45. <laughs> you, don't mind. Yes. you know, if you want to exchange, I give you my 45. You give, you, you give me your 21. I don't mind. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> I believe in the, the, in, the, in the artistic growth. Okay, you yes. can, the path, the time uh, of experimenting. The only thing I can tell you, I, we can tell you is that you should never stop. You should make sure that uh, uh, you have, of course, you have to sell. So uh, you, on one side, you do what uh, uh, commitments, uh, what, what uh, the clients want. On the other side, you should have time to experiment. It's a very difficult path, but we will always support you on that. Because we believe a lot in what in your talents, and it's yes. not something we just say like this. We really do that. Yes, Thank you very course. much. I agree with, with you completely. And uh, yeah, you, the only thing you can do is to work, work hard, and you'll find something. I I think if you work hard, you clearly will find something. Absolutely. Yes, Nushi. yes. Um, nothing, I just wanted to add uh, the same things we just talked about that um, you're, something that still is very interesting for me is that um, the feeling I'm getting from your artworks is that um, the bodies doesn't seem life. They seem uh, very cold. They are very soft. They are really meat and soft. Mm. But they are cold, and this is what I really. For me, it's very interesting. I, it gives me some metaphysic and some um, another another word. It gives me the um, some um, another view of word. I mean, so um, I don't know if it's this feeling is true or not. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's true, yes. It's a, no, no, yeah. absolutely. In fact, I would like you to give you, uh, I mean, I'm sure you, because keep on studying and reading art, an artist is uh, so important. Check mm. out uh, uh, the Italian uh, metaphysic uh, uh, movement of the 1900s. Check out, apart from Giorgio De Chirico, which I'm sure you do already. Check uh, Carlo Carrà. Uh, yeah, I know him. Giorgio He's Morandi. Yes. Uh, yes, because I see a lot in, yes. <laughs> in you. Yes. And, uh, I love Morandi. Morandi, yeah. I mean, that could be very interesting, I think. Yes, yes. So mm. thank you so much, Victor. It was really thank very you. amazing interview. I love it. Lovely time we very. have together. Yes. And you'll That's be, true. Victor is going to be one of the uh, special guests and main character of our. Uh, uh, start uh, digital show in uh, very soon and uh, we will give you much more insights on Victor and uh, Thank you so much. Uh, and, uh, I you know I could work for you whenever you want I'm we I'm, like uh, we like uh, great artists but we prefer good people and you're one of yeah. them Yes, you, yes, very lovely personality, really. Thanks yeah, so much. Yeah, very. yes, of course. Uh, anyway, thank you so much. So um, we, we, we hope that one day we will see each other closely, not virtually, very soon. And we mm. wish you luck and go, continue going on the way you are doing. Every, you are fantastic. Thank you. Thanks, Victor. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Bye.